the first thing which we want to cover is uh, the new text animation stuff. So with iOS 16, it's now possible to animate every text value or text property. So um, let me just uh, try it a little bit out. So we can say we have a font um, and do a large title. So we can read it. So the code is large enough here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, and my shortcuts will also be presented in the middle, I hope. Let's see. Press uh, something. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. So, um, yeah, what we can do is animate the stuff. So, for example, if we want to switch out the, the font size, uh, we can say, oh, first, let us introduce a state. Uh, private uh, um, font size. Mm -hmm. or, or use large title and we say it's false for, for the start and then we can just say okay um use large title yeah if that then use when, large if we have this we have large title otherwise we do a body or something yeah so now that should change yeah, because, because it's false. false so we get the body thing yeah and then to to test or to try it out uh, we can say we add an on tap gesture mm -hmm. and every time we tap we say uh, use large title toggle so yeah. we change it from false to true and the way around so if i tap it now yeah. it switches but that's not not animated. not animated and not so great so the easy thing is to animate this is with animation. Mm -hmm. So just add this. And now it gets animated between the states when the change yeah, that's happens. Nice. Yeah. So you could also specify what animation to use, but the default one. Yeah, that's the default one. It's nice. So and you can do it with every property. So we could also say we change the font weight, yeah. for example. So the question is if you, um, yeah, we use the same variable yeah, here not. for testing. So if you have used large title, then we say the font weight is ultra light because we have a, a large font and the other ray is black is heavy so there's heavy as well so maybe just oh, so let's try it out yeah. okay um okay. and now it's changing both mm. yeah and with that you can create very cool effects in yeah. your ui and yeah without much effort can you also animate color color yeah i mean it's not related to the fonts and some but yeah, should be. Uh, so the large one we say red, yeah. otherwise black. Now let's use another color like blue. Or... Blue. Yeah. Yeah. With every property on the text element. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically the first thing, the text animation stuff, which. I mean, is, are there more things we could try out? Um... What else can can be set on a text? Can you make it? Yeah, I, I think think alignment and so on would still. Oh, there's also mono space you could try. Just uh... it's active. Yeah, yeah, you I don't know. Do with that, so if you have use large font. Yeah. Ah, okay, but that's not the, animation. Well. Yeah, then the animation. Yeah, that's, but that's interesting to find out what works or yeah. not. So basically the, the stuff directly on the text, I think monospace changes ah, maybe, more yeah. than just the property or something. Yeah, yeah. And, or maybe it's a, a order thing. So let's yeah. just, in Swift UI, you have uh, some cases where the order makes uh, a difference in the result. No, but that's not working. Okay, monospace isn't working. What else do we have? Uh, font, font weight for, Background color is the basically the most. Uh, yeah, foreground color is also like not text specific. Yeah. Maybe ch check the code completion directly below text. What else we can set directly on text? I text mean, on, on... case 
Or which one do you mean? Uh, the, uh, uh, below text, like the view modifiers on text directly, because now it's foreground color, so it should be like result is now after that a normal view, most likely. So you can have a look if you can see what we exactly have here. Uh, yeah. Maybe yeah, I, I just th thought about the the um, if you press dot and look at the code completion, what else this would one. be? Yeah, bold. Uh, yeah, the new what's also is new is um, you have a boolean for bold and italic. Ah, okay. so you can now modify it with a boolean. So uh, bold we just have let's use italic. Yeah, and is active and let's see if that works. No, I no, guess okay. when you use these, then it's not animatable. Yeah. Yeah. What you could try is if, if you remove the font weight and just use bold, if it can animate that then, or just the, 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 the weight, yeah, the bold one. Yeah, that it can. Okay. You can not italic, but bold. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I thought it italic would also work. Yeah, uh, maybe that's how how would that animate? Then the letters have to like tilt yeah, maybe. and rotate. And in, in this, in, if it's bored, it just scales up. And yeah. yeah. So let's summarize. So basically, the font, the type, so the size, and the weight and the color. Is yeah, definitely possible. Also, I think um, that could be also the reason if you uh, change it to italic mm -hmm. or to monospace, then it's a different font. Yeah, maybe because, picture yeah. big different font, yeah. and the others is just um, different scale. Like the the, the font, the, the like if you do it like this, mm -hmm. it's the same font but different scale, and then also color and and yeah. the, the bold one. Um, maybe that is the reason. Yeah, maybe. Okay, but interesting. So yeah, that's. Uh, I have a look at the chat. Okay, nothing. Nothing yet. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, this would be the thing with text.